It's week 104 of Zer, so I'm going to show you guys his location, the items he's selling, as well as give you guys my recommendation for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 104 of Zer. But before we get into the video, if you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more Destiny 2 content as soon as it's released, then go ahead and sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, and also go ahead and join the Guardian Watcher Discord. It's a grown community where content creators and streamers can post all of their Destiny 2 videos and when they go live. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. So, Zer is located on the EDZ. And he is over in this area right here by the Winding Cove. Zer! What's up, dude? So, like always, we start with the left hand side. We have the weapon of the week, which is the Lord of Wolves. It is an exotic shotgun. Then we have the Lion Rampart for the Titan, the Sun Braces for the Warlock, as well as the Gemini Gestures for the Hunter. We are going to go ahead and start with the wonderful Lord of Wolves. In terms of perk on this is Shrapnel Launcher, which powerful short range solar bursts. Actually, does a little bit more, but uh, next we have uh, <laughs> Chamber Compensator, Extended Mag, Release the Wolves, and this. Hold square, or its equivalent um, key or button for Xbox, to swap a to a longer, more powerful burst. And then we also have composite stock. I'm surprised they didn't make an ornament for this yet. So, this is a good exotic to have in PvE and PvP. However, they did nerf it a little bit, but I don't really see it much in PvP as mu anymore. But uh, it's still pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a 2.5 in PvP and probably a uh, 2.5 in PvE as well. If you guys don't know the tier scale, I will put it in the description box below. Next, we have the Lion Rampart. I'm trying to perk on this is Jump Jets, which buffs maneuverability and air hip fire in lift. Then we have Bomber, Dynamo, Oversized Weapon Dexterity, Pulse Rifle Scavenger, as well as Scout Rifle Scavenger. And this does have an ornament called Rocket Scientist. And that's what it looks like. All it is is a change of color. Nah, it's okay. So, this exotic is a decent exotic. It is not top tier. I don't really see people going out and oh my god, I gotta get a Lion Rampart. So, with that said, I am probably going to give this a tier 3 to 3.5 uh, in PvE as well as PvP. What needs to come back to Destiny 2 is the Twilight Garrison for the Titan. That would be amazing. But it's probably not going to happen or anytime soon. So, next exotic we're going over is the Sun Bracers. Trying to perk on this is Helium Spirals, which solar grenades burn longer, melee kills restore them. Then we have Scout Rifle, Scout, uh, Scout Rifle Loader, Fastball, Momentum Transfer, Sniper Rifle Scavenger, as well as Heavy Ammo Finder. This has an ornament, but I do not have the ornament, which is pretty interesting. So if you guys don't have this, this is definitely a good exotic to have if you plan on using Solar Grenades for your Warlock. Um, it is good in PvE, PvP, um, even better in game modes where you need to actually play the game mode like Iron Banner, where you gotta hold down a section, you know, stuff like that. Um, <laughs> but I'm probably gonna give this a tier 2 to 2.5 in PvP, and probably a tier 2 in PvE. Next, we have the Gemini Gestures for the wonderful um, Hunter. Trying to perk on this is Misdirection, which dodging disorients and removes enemy radars. Then we have Outreach, Power Dexterity, Machine Gun Dexterity, Primary Ammo Finder, as well as Special Ammo Finder. And it does have an ornament called Trickster. And that's what that looks like. 
So I've done some testing with this with a couple of friends and it doesn't really work as good as it should in PvP. But in PvE, it does what it's supposed to, which is kind of weird. So in PvP, I'm going to give this a tier 3, but probably a tier 2.5 in PvP. Oh, okay, PvE, sorry. So tier 3 in PvP, tier 2.5 in PvE. It, I really feel like this needs a buff in PvP, though, because it, it's... It's not doesn't do what it should, or at least not for as long as it should. Then we have your consumables, which is your five of swords, aka your nightfall uh, challenge card, invitations if you still have it, as well as your wonderful faded engram. If you guys do not have one of these exotics, go ahead and get them prior to popping this faded engram, because you ha can spend so much le legendary shards on these than for this. And that, my friend, brings us to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming at you guys soon, and I will see you guys in the next video.